The Norwegian forest cat is an ancient, natural breed that developed in the forests of Norway for hundreds of years without human involvement. These cats certainly look at home in their natural habitat. This cat is well-muscled and sizable with a solid musculoskeletal structure. It is friendly and kind around family members but doesn't need to be petted all the time. In this video, we will talk about 5 reasons why you shouldn't get a Norwegian forest cat. Note though that all cats are different. The list we provide is likely not to apply to your Norwegian forest cat, but they'll hopefully give you a general idea of what to expect. Cats are often purchased without any clear understanding of what goes into owning one and because of this, there are many cats in need of adoption and fostering. Before we start, if you would like to keep getting useful tips and guides about your dogs or cats, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because we constantly bring you useful info that will help you be a better pet owner. Let's get started. 1. They require considerable grooming. The Norwegian forest cat has a thicker, water-resistant outer coat that forms into long fur at the chest, collar, breeches on the back legs, and bushy tail. The cat also has an undercoat that is soft and lighter in color than the outer layer to reflect heat. A dense undercoat provides warmth when the temperature is low. When on the body it's long but can vary with the season. A Ouija in summer hardly looks dressed because his coat isn't thick enough, but in winter he looks like a different animal altogether. Once a year in the spring, the Norwegian forest cat sheds most of its hair to get ready for summer. This happens because it doesn't need much of it since it is mostly warm during that time. The coat needs a lot of grooming to keep it clean and tangle-free and requires plenty of high-quality food to maintain its thick and shiny look. This might be a lot of work for people who are barely at home or are constantly busy. 2. They have health issues that are genetic. Both pedigreed and mixed-breed Norwegian forest cats have a variable rate of health problems, which may be genetic in nature. Norwegian forest cats are generally healthy with a lifespan of 14 to 16 years. The Norwegian forest cat is prone to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, hip dysplasia and glycogen storage disease type 4. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a disease that causes the walls of the heart to become thick. HCM is the most common form of heart disease in cats, occurring in 10 to 15% of all mature cats. Cat hip dysplasia is less prevalent than dog hip dysplasia, but still impacts a few breeds. Glycogen storage disease type 4 is a genetic disorder that leads to poor organ function and muscle atrophy, as well as death. That is why, regardless of how healthy your Norwegian forest cat is when you first get them, you should be prepared for any health problems that may come up. If you're not ready to deal with the health issues, then consider getting a different breed. 3. They need lots of exercises. Norwegian forest cats enjoy playing and are playful well into adulthood though not as obsessively active as some cats. They like to play with toys and be given the opportunity to play freely on their terms. It's not surprising that this large and athletic cat is a climber. This little guy has a tendency to climb to the top of furniture and things around your home. Unlike some curious cats, he isn't afraid of heights. Thanks to his outdoors and nature, the Ouija has no problem fishing in a body of water for a nice meal. Keep your well-kept koi pond and aquarium well away. Although they enjoy being in the outdoors, they also like being in the safety of home. Your Ouija will need lots of movement to stay healthy. You don't need to run out of your way to get him moving, but giving him toys, cat trees, and an active lifestyle will help. Just make sure you give them plenty of exercise, that way, you'll avoid them developing behavioral issues. If you're not up for it, then you should try a different breed. For this may be a difficult cat to have in a small space. These are big cats. Males can weigh 13 to 22 pounds or more, with females somewhat smaller. If you stay in a small space, you should reconsider getting this breed, or get ready to provide enough space for them to run around and feel comfortable in. 5. They are very expensive. Norwegian forest cats are an expensive breed of cat. The average cost of getting one is $800 and $1,500. If you want one, your best option is to pay full price and make sure it's from a reputable breeder. Their food bill isn't exactly cheap either. They require a high-protein diet because of their large size. Cheap cat food will not provide them with the proper nutrients they need due to the use of cheaper grains as filler calories. High-quality, high-protein foods are crucial for this breed of cat to ensure their health is maintained. Feeding your Norwegian forest cat the right kind of food and keeping an eye on their intake of calories 
is vital to preventing obesity in this breed, like it can be for humans. The bottom line is, Norwegian forest cats make excellent pets due to their large size and loving temperament. These kind kitties are instantly recognizable by their huge size and calm and gentle demeanor, making them amazing family pets. If you're able to give lots of love, brush your cat regularly and find places that are inexpensive for them to scratch or climb on, this wonder animal will make an excellent pet. So, what do you think? Is the Norwegian forest cat still the right breed for you? Please comment below.